human only through the humanity of other human beings. We live in a world where men and women and children are being brutalized in certain countries with their leaders standing by and not doing enough to help them. When you look at the kinds of things that we are still doing, I mean, you look at the four, uh, and, and, and you hear that rape is used as a, a weapon of war. There are millions. Some are talking about 10, 40, 60 million girl infants who have been aborted simply because they are not boys. We have a very divided world, a very fearful world, a world very conflicted and so, so unequal. Every single human being has rights that are intrinsic to who they are. They don't depend on whether you are educated, whether you are clever. They don't depend on any of that. They depend on the fact that you are human. The Universal Declaration of Human Rights was adopted at a time when the world was very fearful. And actually, uh, the General Assembly asked that every individual and every organ of society would bear this declaration constantly in mind. It was uh, idealistic and profound and, and I would say almost totally complete the right to modicum of uh, health care, uh, the right to learn how to read and write, the right to human dignity. It's a good reminder to all of us uh, that these rights still exist and that they are being violated daily on a very large scale. It is reminding us, first of all, of our common humanity. We need it more than ever before. We're calling for the world to rise up and uh, declare that uh, we profess our commitment again uh, to this uh, Declaration of Human Rights. Go into various websites, including everyhumanhasrights.org, and read the pledge, and then become part of a powerful people network that's looking for accountability. And the foundation of it will be literally hundreds of millions perhaps a billion people on earth who say we demand these rights from our leaders. You are empowering people. You are saying this is something you can claim. It is yours. Join us. I'm sure if we all work together and we all take the attitude of what can we do, how can we organize ourselves to do it, we can make a difference in this world of ours. I believe that in the end, it is kindness and generous accommodation that are the catalysts for real change.